much more than Messi versus Mbappe clash, the World Cup final will be dealt with history for Argentina and France. Welcome to our YouTube channel, Asha Vista. If you are new here, you can subscribe, comment, and share so that you can be with others. Who Argentina versus France World Cup final? Where? Rousseau Iconic Stadium, Doha. When? Sunday, December 18, 2022, at 5 p.m. or 3 p.m. GMT. FIFA ranking Argentina the third, France the fourth. Head to head, 12 games since 1930. Argentina won six, France won three, and they drew three matches. Ahead of Sunday's World Cup final, hot take after hot take has focused on the battle of the number 10s. Argentina, Lionel Messi, and Francis Kylian Mbappe, they all were number 10s. Messi, the magician, the PlayStation footballer, quite possibly the best the world have ever seen, is heading towards retirement. Mbappe, the prodigious talent who have scored only two fewer World Cup goal than Messi, but it is aged just 23 and is poised to take the 35 years of the Argentina mental as the best player in the world, but it is naturally more complicated than that. Argentina teams of recent years may be may have been built entirely around Messi, but as his years advanced, his role in the arbitrarist have developed beyond that of non-stop goal machine and into a playmaker supreme, empowering his teammate and waiting for what perfect moment to unleash a little magic, and it works. Football is a team game, and Messi's Argentina understand that. Likewise, France is more than Mbappe. Had they had some of their global superstars, such as the injured Karim Benzema, Paul Pogba, and Ngolo County playing, there is no guarantee the 2018 winners would have made it this far due to their absence, the attention of the world's press as well as that of defensive lines across the tournament have has been on Mbappe and that have allowed the super versatile Antoine Griezmann and the veteran former Olivier Giroud the time and the space to shine. Today's game is Argentina versus France. Much more than Messi against Mbappe, Argentina coach Lionel Scoran told reporters on Saturday when asked about the two superstar and PSG teammates who have both scored five goals so far in the tournament in Qatar. I think both teams have the weapons they need and they, that they match can be decided by both players and not necessarily by both two. Rio Mess is doing well and let's hope the match goes our way. But it's a game between Argentina and France and there are many players that can decide the game. France, meanwhile, received a boost on Saturday with several players who had been out of action for the past few days with a virus returning to the team's training session. Andrie, Adrien Rabiot and that Opamecano missed France to kneel against semi final victory over Morocco, while Rafael Van Ibrahim Konati and the Kings Recordman were absent for the past two days of training. But all five players will be available to head coach the DS Decha, one of only three men to have won World Cup both as a player and a coach. The France team has always been 
for me the most beautiful thing that have happened to me in my professional life. Professional life, DDA, the shot told the reporters on Saturday. Already I have a great experience as a player and now as it's my privilege to experience it as a coach. Now it has been 10 years and it's really the passion, the very, very high level. So I'm good, very good, very happy to be in this position. Dates with history. Both Argentina and France have won the World Cup twice in their history. In 1978 and 1986 for the former and 1998 and 2018 for the latter. The crowds in Doha, however, seem to believe Argentina's day for the sad victory has come and the nearly 90,000 capacity Rousseau iconic stadium will be dominated by the white and the sky blue. The prospect of Messi's final winning a World Cup in his last tournament brought extra fright of Argentina fans to Qatar. With at least 4,000 Argentinian expect, estimated to be in the stadium. We all believe this will be Messi's day, said by Ricardo, who was a teacher from Cordo, Cordoba. His voice hosts from singing the Argentine fan song for more than an hour. I still don't have a ticket, but I have not given up hopes. Hope yet. He added, they are on the market, but they are expensive. Desha also said he expects a one-sided atmosphere. They sing a lot and very expressive. That's good. It's World Cup final after all, but our opponents are not in the stands. This is 11th World Cup final played between South American and European nation in both the quarterfinals against England and in the semifinals against Morocco. The French have come out strong to take a first half read and have then been content to soak up pressure and play on the counter-attack, a tactic that also worked four years ago on the World Cup, on the country's run for the World Cup title. Can that also work against Argentina with Messi in such a scintillating form? Things always happen in March for which you are not prepared, said French captain Hugo Reyes, who is looking to become the first man to captain a team to the World Cup title twice. That's where you need to show a good team spirit and you also need to have that feeling of pulling out all the stops and digging deep in those tough moments. Argentina is a strong team and there they are a lot of the uh, other players, a younger generation coming through and you can feel they are all dedicated to Rio Messi. All goals at the World Cup final. A total of 74 goals have been scored at the World Cup Finals from 1930 up to 2018, an average of 3.5 goals per match. Let's share the statistics. 2018, France won 4-2 against Croatia. Germany won 1-0 against Argentina in 2014. Spain won 1-0 against Netherlands in 2010. Italy won 1-1 to one with France in 20, 2006 on penalties they draw and went to penalties. Brazil won 2-0 two, two against Germany in 2002. France won 3-0 to nil against Brazil in 1998. Brazil drew with Italy 0-0 in 1994. Germany won one to nil against Argentina in 1990. Argentina won three to two against Germany in 1986. Italy won three to one against Germany in 1982. Argentina 
won 3 to 1 against Netherlands in 1978. Germany won 2 to 1 against Netherlands in 1974. Brazil won 4 to 1 against Italy in 1970. England won 4 to 2 against Germany in 1966. Brazil won 3 to 1 against Czechoslovakia in 1962. Brazil won 5 to 2 against Sweden in 1958. German won 3 to 2 against Hungary in 1954. Uruguay and Brazil draw in 1950. Italy won 4 to 2 against Hungary in the 1938. Italy won 2 to 1 against Czechoslovakia in 1934. And the last Uruguay won in Wagro 4 to 2 against Argentina in 1930. There was no official match in 1950. The winner was decided by a final round robin group contested by four teams. Let's focus about which team have appeared in the most World Cup finals. German eight times. They won four times and they were run up two times. They won in 1954, 1974, 1990, and 2014. They were run up in 1966, 1982, 1986, and 2002. Brazil seven times. They won five times and they were run up two times. In 1950, they were run up. In 1988, they were run up. They won in 1958, 1962, 1970, 1994, and 2002. Italy. They were on the final six times. They won two times and they won four times and they were run up two times. 1934. 1938, they were the winners consecutively. In 1970, they were run up. 1982, they won. 1994, they were run up. And 2006, they won the title. Argentina, up to now, they have appeared there five times. They won two times and run up three times. 1930, run up. 1978, won. 1968, won. 1990, Runner up and 2014 runner up France three times. They won in 1998, they were running up 2006, and they won 19, 2018. Netherlands, they were runner up three times 1974, 1978, 2010. Uruguay, they won two times 1930 and 1950. On way two times they appeared to the final. Czechoslovakia appeared on the final two times, 1930 and 1934 and 1962. Hungary, they were run up two times, 1938 and 1954. England, they were on the final once, 1962 and they were the win. 1966 and they were the winner. Spain, they appeared on the final once and they won. 2010, Sweden they appeared on the final in 1958, and Croatia they appeared on the final in 1918. Thank you very much for being with us. If you are new here and like the video, you can subscribe, comment, and share so that we can stay together. This is Asha Vista, the home of sports. Thank you very much, and God bless you.